back again with another video and today's video is about IELTS speaking interview tips. Uh, this is a requested video from a subscriber and um, the person wants to know the speaking interview tips. So uh, I'm going to share my tips which I followed while preparing for my IELTS. So these are my tips which I follow. Without further ado, let's get started. So my first tip is practicing in front of the mirror. That is really important. So pick a topic and start speaking in front of the mirror to see your facial expressions because you must have a slight uh, smile in your face because that makes a great impact when you have a smile. So make sure that you have a slight smile on your face while speaking. And next is the basic etiquettes. That is um, the body posture, uh, straight straight, and um, yeah, when you are talking to the examiner, uh, just have an eye to eye contact because that is really important. I have seen people looking down and answering or looking at the walls here and there and answering that gives a bad impression. Uh, that doesn't mean that you have to stare. And yeah, it's okay. You can see here and there sometimes, but you have to have eye to eye contact while you're speaking to examiner. So these are the things you have to keep in your mind while speaking. So this is my first tip. So my next tip is set a timer for two minutes and record what you speak. So just pick a random topic and speak for two minutes, record it and set the timer for two minutes so that you can speak for two minutes and uh, check how uh, well you speak. Like you can avoid grammatical mistake and also avoid fillers. So this will help you you know to, to speak for two minutes and make sure that um, you listen to your voice and understand uh, what needs to be done because there might be some improvements when you listen to your voice so that you can do it if you can make some changes try making changes by recording and listening to your voice so this is my second tip so my next tip is do not memorize the interaction that will create a lot of issues so examiner wants to know about you, not about somebody else. I have seen people just reading some sample answers and just saying whatever they have uh, memorized. That will lead to many issues because the examiner will ask questions related to introductions as well. So make sure that you don't memorize introduction. It is about yourself. Just explain uh, or describe yourself well. That is really important. Uh, what happens is I have said my hobbies are painting dancing now the examiner will ask about painting and you will know nothing about painting he or she whoever the examiner is will get to know that you are lying and that will create a bad impression now uh, after the introduction the examiner will ask you few questions on what you have described about yourself so please do not answer in one word uh, make sure that you answer in sentences. For example, if uh, he or she, or the examiner is, will ask you, do you often paint? So you don't have to answer like yes, no. Just make sure that you end it up in sentence. Like uh, whenever I find leisure time, I prefer painting. So just say like that. So make sure that you don't end up answering in one word. Uh, so this is my tip. Next, you would be given one minute for preparing cue card topic. So this is slightly tricky because within one minute you have to prepare what you are going to speak. And um, here you have to make sure that you write those keywords so that you can cover up within two minutes all the points. So do not write in sentences, write in words, uh, whatever you want to speak. And uh, while you're speaking, you can see those keywords and remember and try to finish within two minutes, cover up all the points. Do not drag, you know, for the first keyword, whatever you have written, do not drag for around, um, you know, one minute. And finally, you don't get so much time to cover up all the points. So make sure that you are covering up all the points in two minutes. That comes while you are practicing a lot. So whenever, whenever you are practicing a cue card topic at your home, anywhere, make sure that um, you cover up almost all the points within two minutes. That is really important. 
So next after cute ka topic, uh, after completion of two minutes task, uh, the examiner will ask you a few questions. So the questions will be contradicting your opinion, whatever you, your opinion you had. Uh, based on that, the examiner will ask questions to see how well you support your topic. Please do not deviate from the opinion which you had uh, before. So that would create another bad impression. So make sure that you are sticking onto your topic uh, and not deviating from it and please support your opinion so most of the people when they're not sure about the topic obviously you cannot anticipate the cue card questions you can ha have an idea about the cue card questions uh, but you cannot anticipate uh, what the question would be so when you're not sure about the questions they will try to contradict your opinion so this is what the examiner does uh, in the last task so make sure that you don't deviate from the topic. Uh, this is my tip. So my last tip is a good vocabulary is important while you're speaking. So make sure that you have some list of words that can be used in any topic. For example, uh, instead of using mainly, you can use predominantly. Make sure that you have a good vocabulary. Learn new words every day so that you can use while speaking. So this is very important while you're speaking, no grammatical mistakes and a good vocabulary and uh, keep yourself relaxed, calm, have a smile on your face which is very important and yeah, don't be nervous, it's okay, it's okay if you make mistakes, make sure that you don't make in the further conversation. So this is my last tip, hope you like it. So if you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel and any queries, please comment down below. Thanks for watching.